understand how networks work, it's critical to understand the two different types of addressing networks use. As we just mentioned, Layer 3, or the Network Layer, adds an address to the data as it flows down the stack. Then, Layer 2, or the Data Link Layer, adds another address to the data. So why bother with two different addresses? Good question. To understand the role of the two different addresses, let's return to our post office analogy. On screen you see our letter, but you also see the sorting containers the post offices use to route mail. Notice that both the letter and the sorting containers have addresses, and the addresses are different. The address on the letter is the final destination of the letter, while the addresses on the containers are the addresses of the next post office and route to the final destination. Both sets of addresses are necessary for delivering the letter, and can be compared to Layer 3 and Layer 2 addresses in networking. To better illustrate this concept, let's take a closer look at mail sorting in action. On screen, you see the post office where our letter was sent after we dropped it in the mailbox. We'll call this post office A. By looking at the first four digits of the postal code, the post office determines that our letter should be placed in the container destined for post office C. Once at post office C, the process is repeated. At each post office along the route, more and more information from the address of the letter is needed. Here, the full postal code is needed, and the letter is placed in the container going to post office Z. Now the letter has been transported to post office Z, the destination post office for postal code 82070. The letter is now sorted on even more specific information the street address for the mail carrier to deliver. And finally, whoever picks up the mail at the destination address sorts the letter by the most specific information possible, the recipient's name. Delivering the letter to the final mailing address is equivalent to delivering data to the correct Layer 3 address. But the addresses on the post office containers are just as necessary for delivering that letter. The addresses of those containers are equivalent to Layer 2 addresses, by the way, Layer 2 addresses are sometimes referred to as MAC addresses, hardware addresses, or physical addresses. Layer 3 addresses are also known as IP addresses or logical addresses. Later in this course, we'll take a look at the meaning behind the digits in MAC addresses and IP addresses. Like a mailing address for a letter, a Layer 3 address identifies a unique destination. Just as there's only one mailing address at your house, on a network, a network administrator assigns each computer a unique Layer 3 address. The destination and source Layer 3 addresses identifying the communicating computers or endpoints, just like an envelope has a destination address and a return address. Because the data source and ultimate destination always remain the same, Layer 3 addresses never change. Conversely, the destination and source Layer 2 addresses identify the stops made along the way and not the communicating computers or endpoints. Layer 2 addresses change with each stop along the route to the final destination. Don't worry if you still have questions about these two types of addressing. We revisit both types in more detail later in the course.